to get the scorch medium. Bought it yesterday from NSC. Yeah, there she is, fire and ice color. Taking it down to the Coey today, we'll see how it does. Give you an update. Scorch. I bought this last week at NOC, so shout out to Johnny Ortiz and NOC group for selling me this boat here. I um, also got the demo, the medium, for about 
a little over half a day um, before I purchased it. Um, initially it felt pretty good so I went ahead and got the medium. I usually get small boats. I uh, kind of go into that here whether you should get a small or medium at my size. And a lot of that depends on if you like big boats or not. But anyway, just to look at the boat uh, a little bit. And again, I'm not a competing YouTube channel with all these people out there. I'm simply adding on from a smaller person perspective. So keep that in mind. I'm not trying to be a professional YouTuber per se or compete with the other people out there. Um, I feel like I should at least go over the boats in some aspect if I'm doing a review on it. Um, so it's got your standard you know grab handles back here with the security bolts um real nice looking quality um the worst thing about this boat is the drain plug i don't know why they put these little plastic or rubber uh drain plugs in there i'm gonna buy one of the old drain plugs they fit right in there um it's pretty much the only knock i have as far as the boat itself um looks great it's a fire and ice color um I haven't really outfitted it per se to make it fit awesome for me. Um, and right now, um, I had two seat, seat shims under it. I'll probably put, gosh, I'll probably put four um, for me. Again, I'm 130, 135, maybe on a good day, 5'9". Um, right now, I got the bulkhead, and I do have the, I had the foam in here when I, when I did the bulkhead, so I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have it on nine, um, as far as that's concerned. I need to add some extra padding up here or get hookers, hooker thigh braces, which I plan on doing. Um, the main th trouble I have with the boat is, um, I'll go ahead and just sit in here right now. So the main trouble I have is, if you can see my skinny legs, um, I have trouble really engaging the, the rails or when I'm crossing like a pretty gnarly eddy line or trying to ferry across the river on a bigger rapid. Um, I'm having trouble engaging the rails because I have to lean over so much or I have to use so much force to engage the rails. Um, I think that's something that the small is going to do a lot better for me. Um, but as far as going down the river, oh my gosh, it's like I could fly through any hole. Um, took it on the Koei, I'll have some footage of that, but it's like suck hole or whatever. I mean, double suck, like went right through that. Any other big holes, like not even an issue at all. So if you have this thing pointed straight, it would take a monster hole to stop you. Um, that's it. Yeah, but that's my biggest thing. I just need to add some kind of engagement here. Um, as you can see, my legs are just so loose in there. I've got skinny old legs. Um, I already have two hip shims. I'm still loose in here, so I need to add some hip shims. Um, I think if I outfit it correctly, I can get a lot more engagement out of the boat. And I think it'll paddle better for me. But just to look, give you a little walk around. Um, tons of rocker on both ends. Tons of rocker. I actually think this is pretty cool right here. It makes the front end look pretty sweet. Um, did the same thing on the back. And there are those sharp rails. One thing I will say about this boat has insane secondary stability. Um, really takes a lot to flip this thing over. Um, you got a lot of primary, like I can pretty much put it all the way on edge and come all the way over like this and not even get close to flipping, so. Second st secondary stability is just awesome. Um, at my size, I do feel like I get pushed around a little bit because this volume in the tail and also it's the extra volume in the front. Like I say, I think the small is gonna be the perfect size for me. So if you're kind of my size, 130 or probably, I'd say even 150 or less, I think the small is gonna be a better fit for you. Um, I would still demo both boats because different people have different preferences. Um, but I feel like I'd be able to throw the small around as far as, you know, engaging the edges and just putting it where I want to, where this is definitely a lot harder. It takes a lot more strength and energy um, and skill and finesse too. Um, but it's all what you want. Like I said, the medium is going to float you a little higher, kind of go over the bigger holes. 
the small is probably going to be a little more in the water. Um, not to say it wouldn't do just as good though scooting over the holes. Um, there was a couple times where this thing just like skipped. It was just crazy. Like a rock. Throwing a rock across the river. Um, it really does what they say. Alright. Um, I'll go get the billy goat and kind of compare that. Alright, so here's the billy goat beside the scorch, medium scorch. Um, as you, you can see the rocker on the stern is absolutely insane on the scorch. Look how much more it comes up than the billy goat. Um, and I thought the billy goat had a lot of rocker on the front, but gosh, look at that on the scorch. It's just crazy. Um, again, the scorch is more of a full planing hole, whereas this is a hybrid. Um, I will say like for rock spins and stuff, scorch is even much better in the medium. I can't, in the small, I'll probably be able to tear it up as far as that's concerned. Um, have trouble doing that kind of stuff in the billy goat and even goat because they're more that hybrid hole. Um, but if you're doing like a, a flare off booth, like on the side of a rock, um, you know, the hybrid hole is a little better. It's a little more round where this takes a little bit more skill and finesse again. But as you can see there, the boats, um, the billy goat's definitely kind of more narrow. And most of the volumes kind of in the center where the scorcher is more flat and spread out. Um, and kind of the same thing on the bow, as you can see. I'll go around the front here. But again, this is more like kind of flat. Um, where this is more up and rounded. To me, the billy goat feels more like a small medium where the scorch medium feels more like a true medium. Um, I'll just sit in here real quick. I already showed you the uh, scorch when I sit in there. But as you can see in here, a much tighter fit and I don't really have any other outfitting besides what's given with the Waka already. And overall, I feel like I can just control this boat a little better um, than the Scorch at this point in time. But I have had more time in the Goat and Billy Goat, so I can't say anything negative about the Scorch as far as that's concerned. Um, but there they are. There's the two. Um, flip over to see the difference in the rails upside down. As you can see, the full planning hole there versus the hybrid. Um, you have these kind of secondary rails right here that engage, where this doesn't have any of that. And the rails come all the way up here. Look at that. Look at that sharp rail in the front, where this has nothing. It's totally rounded. Let's look at the stern. Kind of the same thing in the stern, you got a really sharp cut off, or this has a little bit, but uh, not like the Scorch. Another kind of thing that the Billy Goat has versus the Scorch, or doesn't have, I guess I would say, is these metal handles versus these plastic grab loops. I know I've gone over that before, but it really does come into play when you're worried about creaking and safety. Um, I have seen a couple people who these have ripped off on a pin situation. Um, so something to, to consider for sure. I don't know why they just won't put metal handles on there. It would make people feel so much more comfortable. Um, again, just to kind of conclude on the two here, the Billy Goats can be a little easier to paddle for my size. Um, a little easier to kind of maneuver around and muscle around where the medium scorch is definitely gonna take some conditioning and some practice um and take it's gonna take a lot more outfitting too where this is you can just kind of hop in my size and paddle it don't really have to worry about anything just maybe some hip shims or whatever um so if you're kind of deciding between the two you know it's hard to say um billy goes definitely made for the smaller paddler but if you want to if you're wanting a more aggressive boat where you can stern load right here on this skinnier tail versus that billy goat um, and kind of go over booths and more of an aggressive boat and kind of a more fun play boat. Uh, the Scorch is definitely what you want, what you're going to want. Um, 
if you're my size 130 again i'd probably wait on the small uh, most people are probably gonna rather have the small but there are people out there i know levi Rhodes from team piranha um he likes those bigger boats he pedals a large even so this all depends on your style and what you like but definitely try to demo both um but from my perspective i'm gonna get a small probably for sure um and i'll let you know the differences but you know, if you want to just go to see kind of what the Scorch feels like, the medium, you'll definitely get a sense of what it what it can do. Um, and you can go from there and just make your decisions based on that. But yeah, it's a sweet boat. I can't really say anything negative about it. It's, uh, and I can't wait till the small comes out. I think it's going to be sick for me. Um, it's a very playful boat, like I said. One other thing I'll kind of add is like if you're going down the river, the Billy Goat it's going to be more of that boat where you can kind of stop read and run pick your line and then go uh, where the scorch is going to be more like kind of like the nirvana 9r series where you know you need to paddle that thing aggressively and and uh you're not going to be able to kind of cat paw it around it's going to have to pick your line and go um i wish i had a nirvana here to compare but to me the scorch is really kind of between size wise the medium scorch is between like the nirvana um, and the Billy goes kind of in between like I think the Nirvana is more like a large boat even though it's medium where it's the true medium this is kind of a small medium so if you want for some perspective there I've never paddled a 9R 9R2 so can't really give you any insight on how those compare to it but um yeah I guess that's all I got for now and I'll give you some updates once I paddle it some more One thing I did forget to add was kind of the weight and plastic comparison. Um, the Billy Goat's definitely got some, I don't say weaker plastic, but definitely scratches easier and kind of dents in more, but it will pop out kind of once you put it in the sun a little bit. Um, I feel like the Prana plastic is definitely a little better plastic, but it is heavier. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind if you have to go on any rivers where you got a portage and carry it. The Scorch definitely felt a lot heavier than the Billy Goat carrying it for an extended period of time. Um, so that's just one little extra thing to add about the two. Like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Thank you all for watching.